This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its eighth year of talk like you've never heard it before. Yes, hello there. How are you? It's uh, it's uh, it's uh, what day is this? This is uh, Wednesday night, huh? Is it? Yeah, it's Wednesday night. Yeah. Okay. Just uh, just uh, remembering what day it is. Oh boy, it all becomes a big blur as you get older and older and older and older. I yeah, God. Oh man, you know I um I, I did an interview this week uh, with a guy on uh, WABC. And we had to do it at 11.30 at night because he wanted me to do it at 1 o'clock in the morning. And I just didn't think I could be in any condition to do an interview at that time in the morning. In fact, I was worried about 11.30 at night. Because if you ever listen closely, this I start to slow down about the 11.30 spot on this show. But anyway... Hey, listen. Let me uh, let me see here. Now, what do I do? How do I how do I get these things in here? Oh, I see. Yeah, sure. I got to do something here because uh, I didn't get things ready. All right, I should get things ready ahead of time. So I'm going to uh, admit. Oh, uh, 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 let's see here. I'm going to admit uh, uh, our good friend Phil Meyer, who is now going to uh, join us. As I say. Uh, Hello, Phil. How are you? Hey, I'm just fine. Yeah. Uh, uh, by the way, how are you? How am I? Yeah. How should I be? Well, you know, I was wondering if you had any more diagnosis. Uh, you, know, you know, you can start with Phil's Medical Minute, and then we'll go on to the legendary broadcaster and podcaster, Alex Bennett. <laughs> well, why do you have a uh, update health wise on yourself? Uh, no, you know I've lost a few pounds. My waist has gotten a little thinner. It's it's hard to tell, but uh, you you pull in one more belt loop, yeah. and uh, I I went to the gym this morning, mm -hmm. and my trainer uh, double booked himself, so I had to be there at five a.m. Uh, which meant that I got up at 3.30 a.m. to, you know, go through my morning routine. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, I had a good workout. And, you know, I, I guess I'm putting on muscle and losing fat. Oh, okay. Good. Yeah. Good. That's nice. I just seem to be losing weight. That worries me. Then. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, well, are you back to the I'm just uh, not hungry. Atkins? That, I'm not that hungry. No, I'm not hungry anymore. I haven't been dieting at all. Oh. Well, you know, as yeah. we get older, you you don't eat as much. I guess. Uh, yeah. Well, a anyway, uh, you know, I get up early because I I like to go to the gym three days a week, mm -hmm. and uh, I do it very early in the morning. So 5 a.m. Uh, Tuesday, mm -hmm. I get a call from Tony, uh, and he says, Alex is is on WABC radio. Uh, that, that was when I was growing up. That was A W A Beetle C. Now I know you were talking about John Lennon, but uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, WABC AM uh, used to bill themselves as W A Beetle C. Right. So, right. Yeah. Even though I thought WMCA was more the Beatles station WMCA was more the yeah it was more the Beatles station yeah but uh, for, but and WABC was always a little more commercial mm -hmm. and uh, a little less uh, genuine yeah you know? yeah but uh, when you were being interviewed uh, he mentioned a number of antics and things that you had done mm -hmm. one thing that he didn't mention was the time in the dead of winter that you had women coming to the station in uh, bikinis. Now, yeah. I can't remember which station it was, whether it was WMCA or w, uh, WPLJ, 
but you I, have I don't like remember. hundreds of, I, I rem- hundreds of I women. Think, I vaguely remember it, but I don't remember it. It was one of your best and biggest stunts. Uh, really? I, I, yeah. I don't remember. You don't remember that? I don't remember it at all. No. Oh, you know, I don't remember what you said that enticed these women to wear a bikini. It was, you know, December or January. It was in the dead of winter, and there was hundreds of them that came to the station. And uh, no, there weren't hundreds of them. That yes, came there to was the hundreds. You, you, somebody else can, you know, my memory isn't as good as it used to be, but I, re, I remember uh you know the uh, the antics now i can call my friend barry uh later who was like a wmca aficionado uh he used to do the survey for them and when they would do the top 100 he was the guy they consulted plus he was a doorman there for barry gray yeah right. and uh uh and so anyway yeah you 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 did that uh you did that routine and then you were talking about san francisco Mm-hmm. And uh, and the difference with the audience, you know, people seem to you were able to uh, to be part of your listeners' life. The uh, you you related uh, to the listeners, whether they were young or and you and you were fairly young. But uh, you, you know, and when you went to San Francisco, your shtick in the beginning was, "I don't like it here. I'm leaving." And for some reason, that endeared people to you that um, that that listened because you know they didn't want you to leave. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I I I don't. You know, you mention these things. People always mention these things to me, and yeah. I never did any of that stuff by design. And yeah, so it's yeah. You said it was organic. It, it's hard to remember if I even did it sometimes. Uh, because oh yeah, that. you 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 did that one. I I think it even made the newspaper. Really? Yeah. I don't I don't I don't remember well, it. Somebody that knew and, your and early... I think if I do remember at saying we would I don't know give something to the first uh, woman that would show up in a bikini. And I remember maybe one person showing up in a bikini no, but I don't no, remember. No, no, there was no. a throng of people. No, no, no. No. Yeah. No, I'm telling you no. Well, I, I can get the facts. I, I know people who know people. Oh, you mean <laughs> I don't remember my own career? That one? Yeah. Well, you don't remember me, you know. Well, and, there's a uh, reason for that. You know, <laughs> That's something you, you want to, like, blot out of your mind, you know. Actually, you know, we, we, were, we were closest when uh, you were still at the point that you, nobody knew what you looked like. Mm-hmm. You know, and uh, and and you were you were pushing that for a while with the hat and the glasses and and uh, yeah. Well, I, I wore yeah, I wore a hat so people right. wouldn't know what I look like. Actually, was, yeah, was the reason why. Okay, so you know, uh, I'm looking at a couple of things here because I got a, a little problem with one of my apps that's screwing up on me. Uh-oh. You know, this always happens when I first go back on the air on, on Wednesday. I always have yeah. some little problem like this. And, well, uh, you know. I have, you don't do a test on Tuesday? Huh? You don't try a test well, on Tuesday? I, I assume so? that things are going to work, okay? You know. Yeah, but uh, your Monday show you do differently. It's, uh, isn't it a Facebook thing? Uh, uh, no, no. Oh, oh, that, that I do on another computer. That's all. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know. So, but, it, but, it, but it, 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 you know, it happens to me, and I go, wow, you know, what, what is this all about? You know, why why does this happen? And, yeah. And uh, it just does, you know. Well, so. anyway, this, uh, what's his name, John Marino? Uh, Mar- he Mar- gave you very nice props yeah. and uh, seemed to have really uh, been familiar with your career. Well, yeah, and, but, you know, I got it. Well, he's not that familiar because he didn't get to know me until he heard me on Sirius XM. So, yeah, so but he, he did he, research. He, you can he, tell he 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 researched oh, your he, earlier he, days. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, but you know what I get tired of? What's that? Uh, and I've been seeing this a lot. Uh, there was a thing, for instance, uh, as of uh, when was it? Uh, as of yesterday, uh, it was forty years ago that we started uh, at the quake in San Francisco. Wow. Well, yeah, forty years. Okay. Wow. And there was some item that was written about it, and somebody said, "I'm just throwing stuff in the trash." That's the sound you heard. 
um, that it, it said, and it was, uh, well, here it goes, the quake, Alex Bennett show, and then it says uh, the first day, and then it, it talks about it starting, uh, I don't know, that it was started by the legendary Alex Bennett and this okay. Moreno the other night. Yeah. Legend Alex Bennett. You know, say that when I'm dead, okay? <laughs> While I'm still alive, I'd rather be working than a legend. You yeah. Know well, uh, John John Casavetes, uh, the the owner of WABC AM, uh, has a position for you. Casamades, I think is his name. Casamades. Uh, there's a cleanup on aisle three. Yeah. yeah. He owns yeah. a he yeah. owns a, what a chain of uh, grocery stores. Yeah. 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 I think he bought the radio station just so he could be on it. You know. Either that, or he can advertise and get a better price. Nah, nah. Yeah. But anyway, uh, you know it, uh, it. But it was a good interview, and I, I thought he did a very good job. I, I'm very. I don't know. I always walk away from those interviews going, "Well, that guy doesn't know what he's doing," you know. And I felt he 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 was good at what he was doing. You know. Now. Oh, was that put out over the air? Yeah, it was yeah. done as a podcast, but it was a broadcast no, on the, uh, the AM band. It wound up as a podcast. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. In the but uh, was it broadcast at uh, when Tony was listening to it at three in the morning or something? Uh, yeah. Well, oh, okay. I had pre-recorded it. Well, because that's because I enough. didn't want to stay around. He wanted me to do it at one in the morning, and I didn't want to, you know do an interview yeah. at one in the morning. I figured I'd be so out of it that it's ridiculous. I don't, I can't go like I used to. You know, I used to be able to do four hours of programming without even breathing heavy. And no, I, I, I remember. Can't, I can't anymore. I just can't any no. longer. I remember. You were you, you, you did stuff you didn't even have to prep. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, the, when they forced you to play music, uh, that, that was easy. You just grabbed it. You also grabbed only music that wasn't the newest stuff so that the guys that came on after you didn't uh weren't restricted from playing that music right so right. Yeah. yeah and uh i thought that was very classy you know and, 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 a, and a and a nice way to do it and i you know i remember uh you know you put the carts in and you, you did all the did all the stuff it was it was fun watching you do it it was it was smooth yeah well anyway that was radio that's radio okay yeah, radio doesn't exist anymore. You know. Well, it, it did uh, on Tuesday morning. Well, one thing I didn't t should have told the said to this guy was that he was very lucky because he has an all night show. I'm just cleaning stuff up here. Yeah, no, nothing's working right for me tonight. So, uh, yeah, like after the show's over, I've got to reboot my whole machine. So Dropbox shows up every now and then. Dropbox disappears. I don't even know how to use Dropbox. No. Uh, well, you know, I, I, re I rely on it a lot because it backs up all the yeah. stuff. You know, and uh, so it, uh, you know, but it, all of a sudden, if I go up there, the little beach ball of death. Is, well, I, it, if it, if I have a picture that somebody wants, mm -hmm. because my camera is forty-seven megapixels, I can't send more. Uh, I can't send very many pictures. Uh, over uh, an email, uh, and I guess Dropbox is the way to do it. What I usually do is I just put it on well, a, a Dropbox. A won't even, bo Dropbox won't even do it. Uh, he, the best thing that I suggest that you do is mm -hmm. uh, there's a thing called what is it? Uh, something transfer. I forget what it is now, but you can oh. do large files. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you know, I remember that. Yeah. Uh, I think I had it, in, uh, and and you can use it for free. Up to a certain uh -huh. point, so yeah, transferbigfiles.com dot com yeah, or something. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, no, I had that years ago, and I don't know what happened to it. It yeah. probably went with another machine. Well, they they just send it through their server, you know, mm -hmm. and then you get a, a a notification, then you go there and you pick it up, you know. Yeah, the free one limited you to like twenty megs or something like that. gigs, or, something like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, no, that that was a, that was a good thing. Thanks for reminding me about that. Yeah, but uh, anyway, so my Dropbox isn't working right now. So, mm -hmm. I mean, it, it if it if it does it, well, it is working, but it's it's uh, I don't know. So yeah. you know, so then it, it's hard for me to do a show until midnight with that not working. 
you know. Well, yeah, you know, that's that's going to cripple you. Well, no, it isn't crippling me. It isn't crippling anything. It's just I'm going to have to reboot the whole machine to get it to, and it does that every now and then. I got to write the can't just I turn gotta, off Dropbox. I got to write, write the people at Dropbox and complain about this because this has happened. Yeah. It, it doesn't happen all the time, but it happens enough. Uh, do you pay for the uh, professional version or the yeah. larger version? I, I play, yeah, I, I pay for the uh, the one where I get two terabytes of storage. You know, yeah. but I mean. I, uh, 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 I I go up there, it's ghosted, and I go up there and the beach ball goes around, right? Mm -hmm. When I try to get, go to that icon. And this has happened before, you know, just out of it, you know, for no reason at all. I, you know, I have no, you know, idea why it happens. And then I reboot the machine and then it works. But I don't want to reboot the machine. I want it to work. I want it to work without any problem. Well, it's it's amazing what these machines do for us today. I was thinking about my old accountant uh, in the late in the late eighties. Mm -hmm. I had uh, I had a machine where the I had two floppy disks, five and a quarter, mm -hmm. and I one was the program and the other was the data. Mm -hmm. And what I used to do was put back up the data he had a little no-brainer list of things for me to do mm -hmm. I'd back it up and every two weeks I gave him the disk and he would do my books oh. and uh, you know, things things were a little simpler I it was an Epson two um, uh, what, what was the designation uh, you had uh, speeds like uh, four something well this was a two something 200 and something uh, speed well you, you remember uh, uh, you know the the old uh, DOS machines. You know, here's the, here's the problem with technology. All right. Yeah. So I have my lights here. Mm -hmm. uh, I can turn them on and off just by saying, uh, I don't know if, the, if if it'll dim anything around here, but I can go echo, one of these echo, days. Turn off office. Right. And then turn one off of these the days. ABC. I'll plug this in. What is that? It's what you have to dim your lights. No, it's a it's, it's a that's, that's not what I use to dim green lights. deck. That's not what I use to dim the lights. No, no, what? no. Echo, <laughs> echo, turn on office. Watch. See, my lights change there. Yeah, but anyway, I the other night one of the things oh. went out oh. and I had to reset it. And I, because I hadn't done this in such a long time, I forgot how to do it. Hmm. If you don't keep doing something over and over and over and over and over and over and over again, you forget. So it's a oh, year later yeah. since the last time I did it, or two years <laughs> later after I set that up, and I couldn't mm -hmm. remember how to do it. Yeah. You know, I mean, and, and, and that's a problem. Sometimes you're working a program, maybe something like Photoshop, and then you don't use it for like six months. And then you can't remember how to use it. Well, I don't know how to use Photoshop. I use Lightroom, and uh, I'm pretty good with that. But if, so if somebody asked me to mask a background the other day, mm -hmm. and uh, I said, well, you got to do that in Photoshop. And I said, well, I've, I own it, but I don't know how to do that. Well, I don't know about masking well, or layers. The background here, I Photoshopped. Yeah. Yeah, you I put mean, the huh? thing in the windows. Well, no, the windows are, no, that's exactly the way the windows are. And no. that's exactly what you see out the windows. I just did two things. Up here, mm -hmm. up there, so you can see yeah. that. Uh, you could see the fan, the ceiling fan. Oh, you took it out? So I took it out. The picture down here, I yeah. simply brightened it up. Yeah. See, but I I played with it was Photoshop's great, you know. And you put Gabnet on the TV. No, that was there. Oh, no, really? I have I have a channel, the Gabnet TV channel, and right. I freeze frame the, uh, the that and put it I put it on the TV set while I shot. Yeah. Yeah. So that's how uh, I did that. Well, you know. See, all I, the I, magic is gone from the show now, isn't it, folks? Well, you know, I went my mother when I was maybe in first grade or kindergarten she took me i thought it was to nbc mm -hmm. studios in new york mm -hmm. and uh you could see inside uh, uh, the sound booth and the and, and they did an exhibition the guy took some film 
and he crumpled it up uh and you know uh, like vi not video film uh, you know silver type film mm -hmm. they crumpled it up and they said that's how they make the sound of bacon uh cooking or fire or, or, or i guess that he said bacon because you know here five-year-old kids i mean <laughs> well you just take some tinsel uh tin, tinsel uh you know whatever and just yeah film it. Yeah. uh it doesn't have to be, be film uh, it mm -hmm. could be something as, oh, let me see here. Hold on, folks. I have to uh -huh. go, like, here's a package of, uh, of holes. Uh-huh, uh right? holes, yeah. Um, and let me see here. These lozenges. Lozenge. It's mm -hmm. a Jerry Lewis word. And so if you do this. See? Like I don't a, hear it. You can't hear that? No. You need film. Wait a minute. Aren't you listening? You can hear me talk, can't you? Yeah. Well, we're you should hear that. No. I don't hear that. No, you see, <laughs> but I don't know. Come on, I'm doing it right into the same microphone. Really? You can't hear that? No. That Maybe I've been shooting guns too long. That doesn't make any sense at all if you can hear me. Yeah, I hear you fine. You should be able to hear that. No. Huh. Unless the audio, maybe. No. Let's see here. Let me try it's, this. Let me try you don't something. think it's picking it up? You, you can't hear that? Not really, no. No. Okay. Well, I don't know what your problem is, my, my friend. Uh, well, maybe I need hearing aids. Yeah. I mean, the audio that's going out. Yeah, is the same audio that you get you, when I play. So when you do that, does your potential not potentiometer your your meter move? Well, when I play when I play something like this, this is Gabnet. Can you hear that? The great American yeah. broadcast. Yeah. yeah. Well, you see, I mean, it, you should be able. To, you should have been able to hear that. Oh. Yeah. See, and nothing okay. works, folks. Nothing works. Yeah. You can't even make the sound of fire anymore. And my Dropbox is working on all my other machines. Go yeah. figure. Go figure. Oh, this is the new machine, right? Yeah, this is a new machine. Well, I mean, this machine gets the most work, but I yeah, you... I, this I've had very little trouble with this machine. If I've had trouble, it's not been the machine; it's been the people who haven't uh, accommodated their program so they would work well with this machine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No. Oh, yeah, I understand yeah, yeah. because it's too advanced. Uh, in October, uh, I'm getting my new monitor. And uh, because they, there are none available, uh, I'm getting an ISO monitor. Uh, are you familiar Why? with those? Why? Why? Uh, well, my monitor is eight Why? or nine Why? years old. Why? Why do you need a, a really expensive monitor? Don't tell me it's for your photography. Because, yeah, it is. Because I can I can do photography on uh, this screen that I have here and do it just as fine as you'll be able to do it with your IZOD or whatever. You're a sucker. Iso. You're a sucker for that stuff. I wish I were. I wish I had a technology company. I'd say, what? What can we create that Phil would buy? Phil would buy. <laughs> yeah. Well, just put it in a nice package. You what know? we do uh, is we'll just take one of our own old shitty monitors that we were yeah. selling for fifty bucks, and we'll just sell them for fifteen hundred, and he'll buy it. Well, uh, every time you turn it on, it uh, it um, uh, it calibrates. So you don't need a. Uh, oh my uh, God! Well, I have a thing called a color monkey, uh, oh, and yeah. uh, you know, uh, you know, oh. this kind of thing uh, to to calibrate the color, and uh, oh it's you're, built in, you're making, you're uh, you know, with the easy. ISO. So I, you know, I just decided I was going to get that instead of a new uh, CPU. Maybe this is another reason to hate you. you know. yeah, why is that? I don't know. You know, well, at least I'll be able to to see the uh, see the show better, mm -hmm. you know. Really? And, yeah, and then then I'll just take this monitor to work. Hmm. You know, it's thirty two inches. It's too big, actually. Really? Yeah, the one I'm going to get is twenty seven. Oh, all right. Well, I have what what do what I have here? I have a thirty two inch I'm working with right here now. Yeah. 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 Uh, you don't find that that's too big? Uh, no, no. I find that it's just right, actually. I'm, yeah. lo I'm looking to see here if I have, uh, if, if any of these things are working. 
here. Oh, your Dropbox? Yeah, no, it's it's working. Yeah, it's weird. Oh, so I um, I went and I did a um, an MM uh, twenty MMA matches at Kizar Stadium on Saturday, mm -hmm. and uh, a riot broke out. And uh, th there I am. I'm up on top of the ring, and I guess the uh, hundreds of people. Uh, from each side, there were two fighters, and I guess the family and fans of each of the fighters, there was quite a rivalry. Yeah. So they st started knocking over the fences and, 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 and climbing on top of each other. The police got called. It, it, was, uh, it, it was interesting. And uh, John Perulis, who does the live stream, uh, I, I come down and I'm helping him protect the table where all the equipment is, his switchers and, and so forth, and, uh, uh, and the feed. So he's, he's got a chair, and he's fending people off with, with, with a folding chair. <laughs> and, and, you know, I'm just saying, hey, you know, uh, you know, stay back from the table. And people listen to me. I didn't have to fend off anybody. It just... You know, oh. they were fairly reasonable. Anyway, let me just say a story because uh, I, I guess people want to want to be kept on and up on it. You know, I do my. Yeah, let me hear about uh, how you're feeling there. Uh, well, right now I'm tired as I've been tired as hell lately. I think I yeah. think what my tiredness is boredom. Yeah, I really do. But anyway, um, a as you know, I I I had that incident where I passed out or didn't pass out. I fell in the bathroom. They had to take yeah. me to the emergency room, and then they did my neck, CT scan of my neck, and then on my whole torso, and uh, then uh, what else did they do? Then they did everything, blood tests, and every test known to mankind. Uh, yeah, you'll have to tell me how much. Did you get the bill yet? Yeah, it came to about 2000 believe it or not. Maybe 3000 That's 000, it? 3000 2000 I thought it was going to be fifty grand. No, no. Oh, no. Nowhere near that. No. Wow. I MRI thought, and I, I everything. Thought, yeah, yeah. Oh my eyes are burning. We got we got allergies. It's just driving mm -hmm. me nuts. Anyway, so I uh, uh, so what happened was when they did my neck, they found some large lymph nodes that were rounded, yeah. which are sometimes uh, oblong. You said or something no, like rounded. that. Rounded and sometimes rounded. Sometimes the rounded ones are cancerous, but right not. In, in. Anyway, so the woman there tells me, I think you better go see a hematologist oncologist over here at Mount Sinai and get them to check this over so a day later I called them and I say I want to make an appointment to see a doctor and then the woman says well we'll get back to you and then a couple hours later maybe the next day she got back to me and she said well we can't see you because unless you have cancer there's no reason for us to see you and I went, but, you know, this is probably, maybe it is cancer. I don't know. She said, well, you know, go see your own physician. She was, she wasn't, she didn't give me a direct answer that, that I could understand what she was talking about. So then I, I get a hold of, I make an appointment with my doctor who I see a month later because that's how long it takes to see a doctor these days. I and thought you had concierge service. No, I don't. No. Oh. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Uh, I'm sick. Take care of me. Anyway, uh, so I, uh, I, I I told the doctor about this and I showed him all the work and stuff. And he said, well, you know, I said, I've called these people at Mount Sinai and they said they wouldn't see me because, you know, I, I didn't have a doctor saying I had cancer or something. I said, I didn't know what it was. He said, boy, I don't understand that at all. He said, well, here, here's the name of a hematologist, oncologist. Give him a call. Make an appointment. Yeah. So I called. I made an appointment. All right. So now I'm really worried about this. So now I'm thinking, what happened at Mount Sinai? I got to find out. So I call the number again and I get the same woman I had talked to a month earlier. And she said, what's your name? And I told her my name and she said, oh yeah, I have the stuff here. She said, oh yeah, the doctor over at, uh, over at, uh, over at emergency referred you to us, sent us all your materials. The doctors looked at them. Now, these are hematologists, oncologists, so just like this other guy. And they determine that because with, with your blood tests and everything, that you don't have uh, lymphoma. In other words, you don't have blood cancer. 
So there was no reason for them to see you. Well, she hadn't she hadn't put it in exactly those terms, but she said that's the reason why they wouldn't see you. Is because well, that would have been a month of ecstasy instead of uh, misery. Yeah, but you know they wouldn't have told me. Uh, you know, it, it, it so uh, the bottom line is that I canceled my appointment with the other doctor because I thought it'd be redundant to do it. Because in the first place, if they said to me, "You need to go see an oncologist, uh, hematologist," first place I would have gone was to Mount Sinai, and they right. would have turned me down. Okay, if yeah. I had known the reason why they turned me down was because they looked at my blood work and said, "There's no lymphoma here. There's no cancer of the of the of the lymph nodes here." Uh, uh, I would have I would have accepted that and moved on. You know. How do they test for that? They don't do test you know? for it. They look at your blood work. That's it. If you yeah, if your blood, if, you know, if your blood's way off. I mean, I had some highs, I had some lows. Oh, you mean the white blood cells and yeah, my and, blood, white and reds were a little high. Uh-huh. A lot of that could have been because of the accident itself. You know. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, that being the point, the point was that I. They, they they didn't want to see me because there was no reason to reason see to me. see you, yeah. Sometimes when the uh, when the whites are uh, are off, uh, it could have been from the food poisoning. Well, it, it, a lot of things could have been from the food yeah. poisoning. The, the enlarged lymph nodes that they found of could course. have been. Right. Oh, I think absolutely. You know. So anyway, that that's the story on that one. So I just uh, and I'll call my doctor next week and tell him. What was so on. he lives, huh? I guess for now. Yeah. But I'm, I'm exhausted and I'm tired. Oh, let's go bring in some of these people, okay? All right. Here, uh, let me see here. Three, three people are waiting in the, uh, in the waiting room. And mm-hmm. uh, let me see. Two of them are bots, according to Elon Musk. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> admit all. Well, I mean, they're finding out there are a lot of, a lot of bots at uh, Twitter, yeah. you know. Uh, but uh, there's uh, there's uh, Alan and there's Charlie and there's Jeff. Hello, everybody. How are you? Hello. So I I missed the last part. I was on the phone. Did you get a negative on cancer? No, I got. What happened was is that the earlier thing that was done at Mount Sinai, they didn't. The woman wasn't communicating it to me correctly. The okay. reason they wouldn't see me is they looked at my blood work and they looked at a lot of the other stuff because the doctor sent all the stuff over to them. They looked at it, and by looking at the uh, the, the the blood tests and, and, and whatever other things they look at, they determined I did not have blood cancer in my blood. Good. Okay? So I canceled this other doctor because to go to him would be redundant, except that he didn't have, he would not have access to all my tests so I'd have to get another blood test. I'd have to get another this. I'd have to get another that. You know. So. All right. Good. I'm glad to hear you don't have cancer. Well, I guess. You know, for now. Yeah. yeah. But. Well, does that explain why you, why you're legendary? Yeah, I, that's why I'm legendary. <laughs> you know, when you were crinkling the paper earlier, I heard it as clear as a bell. I can't. Me too. I can't. Hear really? It. Heard it. Wait, Bill couldn't hear it. It's time for hearing aids, Bill. Well, can you hear Maybe. that? Maybe. At your age, I could see that. You can't. Yeah. You couldn't hear that. No, no. Could you hear this? Uh, just one tap. Yeah. <laughs> this is the high frequency. You know, so you before you go, hear. before you go and get that really big deal monitor, I would get yourself a decent speaker. Okay. Uh, I I have I have uh, Yamaha uh, studio monitors well, in here. Also, yeah. What do you What do you have that kind of equipment for? I don't have that kind of equipment because I don't feel. If I'm it. going to buy something, I buy the best. No, you want to feel that you're. I'm a professional. I have Yamaha speakers. Yeah, I do. But his Yamaha speakers are made at Radio Shack. No, I bought them <laughs> at Guitar Center. You know, uh, they're they're you know they're monitors. Yes. So they're 25 years old? No, no, no. You know, I do, I, you know what I have for monitors? I have the cheapest desktop monitors you can have. Uh, let's see if I can move this without screwing oh, it up. Uh, uh, we, uh, we don't need no, to see You might see be able to hear though. something if you moved it. 
I can't, uh, I can't stretch. Oh, wait a minute. How are you close to those speakers now? <laughs> it's right. It's right there. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. Or, or there. Or yeah. There. The rest of us heard the noise. Yeah. What do I have down here? What is that? I, can't, I don't know which kind of speaker that is. I have a big yeah. subwoofer down here. I never use any of the audio that I've got. Yeah, here. I don't have a subwoofer, but these are powered. Uh, let me see if I can take a picture of it. Uh, no, you don't have to go through that. <laughs> Nobody cares except you. I care. Well, get a picture of it. That's that's it. It's uh, there's a, two of them. Uh, picture of something with a dot or white dot in the middle of that's it. The, that's the sound oh, those are Those are the cheap ones, yeah. Yeah, right. Those are the $49 <laughs> a pair. Yeah. Nah. Those are ones that, uh, yeah, they put the Radio Shack label on them. Oh, uh, right. yeah, yeah. But Yamaha makes them. <laughs> I think it's the other way around. Radio Shack makes yeah. them. It's a Heath like kit. It. It's a Heath kit? Oh, yeah. Remember those? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. They just yeah. put those together. Wow. I never put a Heath kit together in my life. Yeah. I'm a Jew. I would electrocute myself. <laughs> you know. A lot of Jews are electrical engineers. That's true. That's true. Yeah. yeah. Uh, let me see here. Yeah. So anyway, uh, and oh, God, I, I, you know, I've been, I've been feeling pretty good about um uh, pollen counts and so on this year and now there must be some kind of pollen this time of the year it's just driving me crazy eyes are burning nose is dripping wow yeah you like new york don't you does, does uh, everybody know the, the 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 term swatting where, you, where yeah. somebody calls in yeah. and swat got swatted last night you at did one in the morning no your girlfriend phil Marjorie Taylor Greene. Oh, okay. Somebody called in, didn't like something about her politics, and decided that he would, they already found out who it was. And she got guns pointed at her and everything, and she came out in her bathrobe, and everybody recognized her as this loser from Georgia, and lowered their guns and didn't figure she was worth a bullet. Now, was she in D.C., or was she in Georgia? when At home happened? in Georgia. They're in Georgia. They're, they're at home now. And you don't think that the police know that that was her address? You would think. Maybe they don't like her either. Everybody likes her. Oh, yeah, we all love her. She's terrific. Yeah. 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 I wish yeah. I were younger. I'd try to fuck her. Well, that, that's, that's Phil's dream, too. If he was younger, he'd try and fuck her. But he'd do her, and he'd do AOC also. I definitely do AOC. <laughs> hey, listen, uh, uh, you know, we didn't get into any politics, Phil. No, well, it you know the, we were celebrating your uh, uh, last on-air foray. You know, I mean, you know, your legendary Alex Bennett, oh, broadcaster, podcaster, yeah, yeah. WABC, a Beatles C radio. <laughs> <laughs> if anybody wants to hear it, uh, it, it the, the, um, my Facebook page, I posted the the. Uh, interview you know i didn't realize uh that you couldn't post it or and you couldn't play it on gabnet well it, uh, belongs, it belongs to wabc it doesn't belong to me i i understand but I, I you know i didn't realize it at first when i suggested that hey why don't you use it's about 34 minutes why don't you play it in the first half hour of wednesday and he said no nah, it doesn't belong i mean to i could it. post it yeah, you know, but well, posting I, and playing, I get or no, I'm posting the page from their website. Yeah, on Facebook. Yeah, so right. that I can mm -hmm. do. But nah, and I'm, why should I? Why do I want to play an interview? I did. You know? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you it was play an you were you were you were right on. You were you were <laughs> sharp. Uh, I I was uh, you were your old self. I thought you were great. Really? Yeah. What, what am I here? <laughs> Dog, a, you're a, you're a, okay. A, <laughs> A dot, you're legendary. A doddering old fool, or as you would nah, call it. you're legendary. It, you would call it Biden-esque? No, dry, you just got Dropbox issues, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what is with it? it? It does that every now and then. I never can figure it out. And it's Are you have the paid it. version, Alex? Yes. Wow. Well, don't you listen to the show, Alan? I asked that question earlier. <laughs> I, I listened to important things on the show. Could be there's something, or it could be the, you know, it's, it's just not sinking on the, but it's it's working on my other uh, 
Mm. Hey, so on it, my does it limit you as to the number of you uh, number of computers you can put it on? No, I can put it on no. anything that I put could put my Dropbox on, and it's working on my on my uh, PC and it's probably okay. Yeah, it looks like it's okay over on my other my other machine here. I Let thought me, you had a RAID. Here. Huh? Well, that has so, nothing uh, to do. That has nothing to do with the program. Sure, it's, it's no, storage. No, it had, no, it doesn't, uh, Alan. It has nothing to no. do with a RAID. This is like no, a, I'm, I'm not saying it does. I said, don't you have a raid? I have a raid, yes. And and doesn't that copy your pictures on like five hard drives at once? Uh, on five hard drives at once. Right. No. Uh, he doesn't have the no. same size one I have. Oh. I think he has a four four hard drives. Okay, four, four or five. Four. Whatever. How many how many hard drives do you have on your raid? Uh, I got five uh, eight terabyte hard drives and a uh, SSD turbo drive why well because that have gets you, the have you filled it up yet up phil have you huh? filled it up yet no i'm How nowhere cool. near filling no, it nowhere up. nowhere near no. filling it up you've got all seven but i will pictures on there and, you know the day will come and uh drobo which is the uh which is the uh storage unit i have yeah. they just filed bankruptcy you know why because so, they yeah. suck well, I haven't had a problem with it, but I think it's uh, maybe liability. Yeah, they, they had two reasons. They sucked and they cost too much. Yeah, well, okay. that's... Here's the cool thing. You're lucky you haven't had a problem. The hmm. unlucky thing is tomorrow, if you have a problem, they're not responsible for it. I know. I'll be fucked. But anyway, so, uh, 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 no, so it, it, no, what you're talking about, what, what Dropbox is like is a, is a form of, the, of a cloud. And and I put certain things there and store things there, and then I don't have to store them on my hard drive here, which I don't, you know, it's limited in size because it's an SSD. Uh -huh. uh, and uh, but the 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 uh, uh, raid uh, is just me. I store all my shows and everything there, and a lot of files that I want to keep and so on, so that if any one of the hard drives goes out. All I have to do in order to get them going again is just replace it with a new hard drive, and it rebuilds the whole thing. And in the meantime, yeah. the rate is still working. That's yeah. the difference. But you, a, a, you have a, a a Dropbox is like a cloud, basically. And I, there's RAID five and there's RAID six. With RAID six, which is the way I set mine up, uh, two drives could go out at the same time, yeah. and you still yeah. would be okay. But the chances of that happening are. A zillion, to a zillion to one. Are your are your drives built by Yamaha too? Uh, yeah. Yeah, they're all Yamaha uh, drives. I think they're Seagates. They're Sea uh, Seagate blacks or red reds. They're reds. No, no, no. That that that's Western Digital black or red. Oh, then they're Western Digital. I haven't okay. looked at them in a long Western time. Digitals are good drives, and the and the red is their is their industrial, the top of the line. Yeah. You know something? This oh. has got to be boring. Oh yeah, there are only twenty nine people watching right now. This has got to be boring. Everybody who's listening to this. Oh, not unless they like computers. Charlie is sitting there looking like I don't give a shit about this. Yeah, it's true. All right. And he's got a degree in <clears throat> physics. At least we're not hearing about uh, you know all the conspiracy theories from you know who. Yeah. From who? Is Charlie? Oh. Is Charlie doing conspiracy theories again? No. No. Well, how do you, not that we, you know who we were it's, talking it's about. It's looking better for the Democrats in the fall. Yeah, they there may be a couple of seats, but they're still not going to get keep the House according I, to. I know. Uh, according to who, who's the uh, who, who's the. Uh, Sorry, I brought it up. Who, who's the who's the Republican the head of the. Uh, um, uh, it May starts with an M. He's in California. No, uh, no. Matt Gates. No, Matt Gates. No. no. The guy from he's the guy. Oh, M M McConnell? McConnell, McConnell. He's the Senate. Yeah, McConnell said today that he didn't think that the uh, Republicans were going to do well this this fall. I hope he's Judging right. by Probably what's going on Probably not in the Senate. No, he said anywhere. Uh, well, uh, I hope he retires. He said the You know, I guess uh, Nick, Trump doesn't like McConnell. Well, McConnell probably... Uh, well, uh, you know something. If I found out that Trump didn't like me, I don't know if I would lose any sleep over that. <laughs> really? Well, 
How can he not <laughs> like you? You're legendary. Oh, boy. <laughs> so is Trump, but in a bad way. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, I talked to Phil. Uh, not Phil. I talked to Jack Bishop. I you See, I go to bed around 2. Oh, okay. I was and, <laughs> and maybe I fall off about 2.30. Oh. I get up about 10.30 in the morning. Who's calling me today at 10 this morning? Jack. Jack. Well, that's good. Was he trying to get on I, Zoom? I, I didn't answer it. Didn't answer oh. it. <laughs> Called him back later. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, you know, and, it, it, and it's what? It's like 8 o'clock his time. Yeah, Texas he's How, how's he doing? Is he home yet or is he still uh, they're, they're letting in him, They're letting him out uh, Friday at noon. Oh, mm -hmm. uh, the exact amount of time needed. Uh, to meet the insurance requirements. Yep. <laughs> really? Yeah, it's not That's like they I say, you know, something. we're going to let you out early here. No, we're going to let you stay here for every penny we can get out yep. of your insurance. Mm -hmm. So. Oh, so he, he maxed it out? Yeah, if yep. I were him, I would just him, fuck you, I'm going home. Goodbye. You going to stop mean, me? You going to hold me prisoner here? Did you hear that Donna came in to visit him last week and gave him some really good news? She said, I don't want to be your maid for the rest of your life. That's a nice thing to say when somebody's trying to recover. Well. He wasn't happy, obviously, and, uh, you know. Oh, you I, know something? I've got to get rid of, i got to get rid of something here. How, how did you hear that, Alan? I have made a I talked to him. Oh, you know. Then why did you I say that? I talked to him once last week. <laughs> well, I wouldn't want to be his maid either. <clears throat> Yeah, well, I mean, uh, you know. And do you think he wants the world to know that his wife said that to everybody who's listening? Yeah, yeah Alan. Jesus okay. Christ. You know, I think you should keep your mouth shut in certain okay. circumstances. I take it back. He, was, he didn't Too really late. say that. Too late. out of the bag. Now you're going to have to be his maid. No, she, yeah. it, the, the problem is she has not gone to the hospital much. I'm surprised she went to the hospital. Wow. Because she was afraid of COVID. And I don't blame her. Because yeah, yeah, how, how, like. how did Marjorie get COVID mm -hmm. and give it to me? Yeah, she got it yeah. in the waiting room at the hospital. <clears throat> yeah, waiting for you. Waiting for me. So mm -hmm. I, I understand that. I also told him at the time, I said, don't ever hold it against anybody if they don't come to see you in the hospital. Some people just cannot stand hospitals. And they're afraid yeah. of hospitals, and it, they don't, you know. So you you shouldn't uh, you shouldn't hold it against somebody because they don't come to the hospital. You know, in, in the even traveling in, in the back of my mind, I was supposed to go to a convention uh, about a week and a half ago mm -hmm. uh, in in uh, Nashville, and uh, I didn't go. I, I did, you know, planes were getting canceled. Uh, everybody that I know that went to Nashville comes back with a case of COVID. Mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, I'm saying to myself, what do, what do I need this for? Well, I, I, oh, I, I just got I just got invited to uh, in October to my uh, 65th high school reunion. Whoa. Yeah. You coming? Uh, no. <laughs> do you think I want to be in a room full of nothing but old people breath? Yeah, yeah, you know, my 50th is in September. They're having it in New York. And so I get these things on classmates.com. And, you know, are you going to go? And I said, no. And then I, I talked to uh, offline. I talked to a gal that I knew. And I said, I didn't like any of those people when I was in high school. Why would I <laughs> go there now? Well, the last time I was, was thinking about, well, was going to go, uh, was when I was still working in San Francisco, and I guess it was something like the 35th or something like that. Mm -hmm. And um, they were holding it on a boat in Petaluma, okay? Yeah. So I, I pull my car up to the, to the boat, and I'm sitting there in the car, and I'm watching these people walking onto the boat. And I'm going, those are nothing but old people. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Yeah, well, I, I welcome said, to the world. And, and this thing isn't like a, a party somewhere where if you're not having a good time, you simply go out to the parking lot, get in your car, and take off, right? So this what is, were the party favors, this, this Geritol? Is, this is on a boat, okay? And you're stuck on this boat with all these old people. And worst part about it is 
you're probably old like the rest of them. You know, it, my, my reunion, one of the activities is a cruise uh, on the river uh, from Peekskill. Uh, and uh, it was limited to 30 people, and they didn't have enough participants. I've got a new idea. You yeah. know, you've got the, this is an asshole down in Texas. So what, what's, uh, oh, the, what's, the, what's Governor what's, Abbott? I, oh, he's I, I, he's keeping buses in and, business. And then there's that senator, Senator Costello, who's uh, Abbott and Costello. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is. Uh, but anyway, he's been literally hijacking Mexicans, putting them on buses filling up the buses, 50, 60 of them, and sending them to New York. Well, it's a sanctuary city. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Send them to New York. He's also sending them to Washington as well. The I funny part is that by the time they get here, one time there was, it was loaded with 50 of them, and by the time it got here, there were only six on the bus. They had gotten off in different places along the way. Hey, I think They since gave them their phones and, and other documents too soon. Well, anyway, See, yeah. anyway, it's anyway. So I'm thinking, how do we get even with Governor Abbott? Raise the taxes in oh, Texas? Okay, now if you had a choice of people to come to New York, would you rather it be Mexican immigrants who are looking for a better life in, the, in, in America, okay, or a bunch of homeless people who sleep in the subways? You got both. Well, which ones would you rather have? <laughs> I'd rather have the Mexicans because they okay. can lay carpet. So here's my suggestion: <laughs> for every busload of Mexicans they send here, we send a busload of our homeless. Back. <laughs> yeah, but they'd have to work in Texas. They wouldn't get away with that crap. Huh? <clears throat> well, you know, I mean, come on. Tell and, me, and I'm telling the you, the reason if the ever, reason that you've ever taken a subway here in New York and seen some of the people sleeping in the subways, well, you would much rather have a whole bunch of Mexicans here doing the harappa tapa. Absolutely. Th you know? Think about this. They play the guitar sometimes in the subway. You know why you got a homeless problem? Why? Because they have all of these government programs in New York, San Francisco, Los Angeles, uh, that cater. And, and to the homeless, oh yeah, there are okay. people making money. You're so out of, you're so, out of you're so wrong, Phil. I mean, no, the problem, no, wait a minute. The problem is there, we can we don't have the ability to take care of these people. I understand, but they're spending millions of dollars on homeless benefits, and uh, whether it's giving them tents, whether it's putting them in hotels. Well, what, what, what's a, what a better thing to do with our money, Phil? Than to use it I'm for the welfare and, 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 and helping people out of their dire situation. Well, okay. that's why if they went to Texas, they would be forced to work and and, yeah, and they wouldn't, uh, they, they 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 wouldn't want up, to go to they Texas. They wind up sleeping in the if streets. You think, they wind up sleeping in the streets and being in a state that wouldn't even take care of them. And they'd have to fend for themselves. You think well, we don't have homeless sleeping in the streets in Texas? Only in Austin. You don't think you have any in San Francisco? Oh, we have plenty of in San Francisco. Mm -hmm. well, yeah. well, send you, know, a few, send a few of them to Texas. Well, I, I got I got a joke for you. I don't. It's kind of, <laughs> you know, uh, uh, off color a little. Uh, there's three that's, guys that's in a row. Off, off color a little. Is yeah. It, is it oh, racist yeah. on any level? <laughs> Slightly. Slightly? Wait a minute. There's no such thing as slightly racist. It's either racist or it's not racist. Eh, it's slightly racist. It's cute well, racist. Let me put it this way. Will Charlie be upset by this? <laughs> no, he will not. Okay. By the All way, right. Charlie, so, if you're not there's three upset, guys in a rowboat. Like it. What? Okay. It's three guys in a rowboat. A Russian, an American, and a Mexican. And the Russian picks up a bottle of vodka takes a swig, throws the bottle in into the ocean, and he says, I am Russian. Where I come from, we have plenty of vodka. And then the Mexican picks up a bottle of tequila, takes a swig, throws it in the ocean. He says, I am Mexican. Where I come from, we have plenty of is that, tequila. Is that, is that you trying to do a Mexican accent? Yeah, yeah, it is. He does it every time at the at the uh, Taco Bell drive-thru. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> then the American takes a Budweiser, uh, 
pulls the pulls the top off, takes a sip, sets it on the middle seat, and he he takes his foot and he pushes the Mexican into the ocean. He says, "I'm American. Where I come from, we got plenty of Mexicans." <laughs> <laughs> Where's the punchline? Yeah, well, I, I punched you. Is there a, is there a joke there? Yeah, 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 yeah. There is a joke. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, could you explain um, it? Just diagram it, it not, for us. Jeff liked it. Do you have a whiteboard I, anywhere where you could diagram a joke? I'm being yeah, yeah. to you. What? Uh, what? That was a freebie to you. Oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> oh, did Jeff? Jeff, did you laugh? Yes, he did. Tony, Jeff's looking for a Tony, on Tony, Tony didn't even laugh, and Tony's a no. fucking moron. That's Tony didn't understand. Not anymore. Now he's a Republican. <laughs> he's giving me homework. <laughs> I'm on chapter four. I don't think Tony understood it. No, I, I did. It was okay. Good. I was hoping for a little bit better, like. But I. Well, we were people. talking about Mexicans in New York. You know, and the, so the American pushes the Mexican out of the boat and says, hey, you know, we got plenty Don't of Mexicans. try to explain you know, it. it wasn't funny and it was very racist. It was extremely was funny and it was slightly was racist. Slightly. You know? He wasn't too big. You do have a lot of Mexicans, so that's probably true. So what? We have a lot of Italians. Should we kick them out of the boat too, Tony? Probably. If they hear illegally, out of the boat. <laughs> I heard that Tony, all of these... Wait a minute. I heard that all of these kids who are going to New York, who came from wherever, in Texaco or, or Mexico. Or Te to Texaco, yeah, they came from a Texaco, gas station. Texaco, yeah. <laughs> anyway, they're kids. They're like not even, some of them are like one year old. Yeah. Yeah, they're I kids. mean, it, 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 Abbott is another one of those people who, number one, he's not, none of these people, Trump isn't a conservative. Abbott isn't a conservative. I know conservatives, and and a decent conservative has got to hate what's going on right now, because a uh, conservative wouldn't think of this as being something you do, you know. Tony, do you hate it? Hate what? Ah, come on, you're not listening. You're a conservative. Do you hate it? Uh, I consider myself an independent. I know. There you go. Uh, Oh, oh, now you're, what do you're I hate? Then? I, mean, I was looking at my email a second. Oh, oh. I, if I got it, if I got to put it on a whiteboard and diagram it, I, oh. I'm sorry, Tony. You know, the you're you're, you're, you're fired. <laughs> I guess I can't put him for vacation then. So. Yeah. Hey, Tony, Tony sent me a picture of a house that he was looking at in, up my brother was, north. Yeah. And this house is beautiful. It's on seven and a half acres. Uh, it's stone. It was made in 1913. What a gorgeous, gorgeous house. $699,000. You know, in San, in the Bay Area, for six ninety nine, you can't get a dog house. I would still say in upstate New York, that probably is a fixer-upper. Uh, no, it, it was in Highland Highland Springs or something? Highland? I think it was Woods, not Woodstock. Oh, it's Woods. It's near Woodstock. This this was perfect. It didn't need a thing. It was gorgeous. Yeah, why don't you buy it and move there? I, if I if I could make a living, <laughs> you know, there I I'd, I'd live that I'd live in that house in a second. Carpet. How, how much is it? Oh, yeah. Six ninety nine asking. And, and they reduced it. My brother was looking at it. We were looking at. It. Oh, oh. It, just gorgeous. It uh, seven really and a half never acres. Be the same. Uh, what was the mountain that it over that it was on? Overlooked mountain. Mount Reba or something? I think it's something like that. It, it's kind of exciting. Yeah, I don't want to bore everybody. Oh, it was gorgeous. Yeah, it was nice inside. Yeah, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, was to the village. Though. The White House was nice was gorgeous outside. Until Trump moved in, plugged up <laughs> the know. toilets. I just watched. No I tell you, you know, you know it who, said in the small print, absolutely no Mexicans around for twenty miles. You know, it's a you know, there's a bigger prick than I ever <laughs> gave him credit for. <laughs> Uh, they, I watched this uh, three-part documentary they did in England on Rupert Murdoch. And oh. I knew he was a bad guy. Mm -hmm. I didn't know just how much he was a bad guy. I mean, this whole thing that went on in England where his newspapers were literally hacking telephone calls of people. Oh, wow. And one girl who had been kidnapped or something and somebody killed her, 
they were hacking the, the, her phone calls and they didn't tell anybody. I mean, it was just horrible stuff. And then and on top of that, that he, came, England? he came to the United States and he hated Trump, could not stand Trump. Mm -hmm. uh, Trump wanted his help, he, so they wouldn't even take his calls. You know? Now, Murdoch is an American citizen, yeah, right? Yeah, let me finish yeah. the story, please. Uh, and he then, at one point, decided, well, this guy Trump probably could win, and the guy who could help him win is me, and then if I can, you know, because he had all this bad publicity in England he had to get away from. Mm -hmm. So what he did is he literally won the election for Donald Trump. Uh, this guy is Facebook a did. massive douchebag. Just, I mean, it's amazing what he will do to make the next buck and doesn't care about the morality in doing it. Uh, the, now, which guy, media mogul, uh, that owns the Washington Times is from Australia? It's not Rupert Mur Murdoch? The Washington Times? No, I think yeah. he does. Uh, the Washington... Uh, it, I thought it was an Australian uh, uh, guy that became a U.S. citizen, but maybe it was Rupert Murdoch. Yeah. Well, Murdoch doesn't own the Times. Yeah. The Washington Times. Washington yeah. Times, no. But nobody oh, reads the Washington the Times anyway. You know? I, I read it. <laughs> well, like he said, nobody. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but, keep, I mean, keep but, it but up. I, but I saw oh, this documentary, yeah. and after I saw it, it was three hours long. After I got mm -hmm. finished with it, I just went, God, I, I, I knew the guy wasn't any good. I just didn't know how bad he was. And then I also realized from this documentary how close uh, the show Succession, have you seen this thing on HBO, Succession, mm -hmm. is to Murdoch and his family. Because the whole thing that's been going on with Murdoch's family all these years are the children vying with each other to become the head of the corporation. Once dad croaks, mm -hmm. but he's already he's ninety one and he's still going, you know. So I mean, it, it, it eventually they'll wind up showing it here, and you got to watch it. It's just you just have no idea about this guy, because we've heard him, we know about Rupert Murdoch, we know what he owns, we know what he does, but we don't know the severity with which he does it, mm -hmm. and and it, and what went on in England, it almost ruined his, his News Corp. Uh, he had to go in the corner and lick his balls for a couple of years and lay low to let the whole thing go away. But uh, it was, uh, he's just terrible, just terrible. And there's just no, oh. no the, and so what, what I thought about was the mm -hmm. complete lack of morality that some of these people have. I mean, there's no, there's no morality where Trump is concerned. There's no morality at all. There's no caring about the human race or about your fellow man. The only thing he cares about is Donald Trump. And the only mm -hmm. thing a lot of these other Republicans, Mike, Matt Gates thinks about, Matt Gates cares about Matt Gates. Well, 17 year old. And little girls. And 17 and little girls. girls. Yeah. Washington Times is owned by Sung Young Moon. Oh. Well, oh, the Mooney. Yeah. Yeah. Moon. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Moon Moon guy pain. So you change. read that newspaper, <laughs> do you? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I. I the Phil will go I, anywhere that will justify his misinformation. Penchant for truth. <laughs> Pension? Penchant. Yeah. Or if you're if you're really snotty and you want to say it correctly, you go Pashant. Oh, well, yeah. excuse me. <laughs> Pashant. It took him weeks to learn how to say taco. I mean, you know. <laughs> yeah. 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 But uh, you know, uh, I think that. Uh, if people would uh, emigrate legally and uh, allow us to vet the one uh, people that are coming in, I see no reason that you can't uh, allow hardworking people to, to come to this country. Well, how do you decide whether they're hardworking or not? Phil? Well, they, you know, in, in past generations, people assimilated. They wanted to be Americans. No, but there, you know, when we, uh, there was a time here, it, well, look, as a Jew, you can rel should be able to relate to this. In in New York, you know, we always heard about people going to Ellis Island. That was the play first place you arrived, mm -hmm. and then they processed you through there, and then from there, you left and went wherever you yeah. were going. My great grandparents. There was only one difference: not everybody went 
to, to uh, Ellis Island. Uh, a lot of them were dropped off in Manhattan. If they mm -hmm. had the money and they weren't yeah. Jewish and they, and they weren't Jewish and they weren't of some kind of a real foreign thing, okay? Everybody else had to go through Ellis Island. Everybody had to go through that procedure. And this is what we do constantly. We use immigration as a weapon against people rather than having us live up to our feeling. <clears throat> you know, you want a better life and you want to come here? God bless you. Welcome to our country. You know? Was it because people came in on steamships that they went to Ellis Island and maybe others came in? No, no, no. Choice. no. No, no, there no. was no choice. No, if no, if you were on a boat, if you were on a boat and you were in steerage, it stopped at Ellis Island and then it went down to Manhattan and let all the first class passengers off. Mm. Okay. Well, I, I want to tell I you like my, to travel first. What'd you say, Jeff? I want to tell you a little story about my grandfather. Yeah. So him, his wife, and I think three kids come. To the United States from Hung Hungary, I think, mm -hmm. is where they came from. But anyway, he had a nice Jewish beard, yeah, which was very co common at mm -hmm. that point. Well, on the ship, he decided to become an American. So he shaved himself and didn't have a beard anymore. And they all come in with the wife, the kids, and they look at him and they say, let me see your passport. Your oh. passport has a beard. You don't have a beard. Oh, you told this, yeah. Go, keep Get going. out. And they stick them back on a ship to go back to Europe. Oh. It took them like five, six years before he could get enough money. To get back. Wow. Oh. Yeah. Well, because he shaved. Holy yeah, but I mean, yeah. you know, and and uh, during uh, during World War II, uh, Hitler, before he decided to start exterminating the Jews, oh. said that he would ship the Jews to any country that would have them. Uh, oddly In enough, Spain. A, a, Spain took a million. Yeah, um, uh, and Franco said, "I don't want you staying here because we can't afford to keep you here." But you can come here and then go immigrate somewhere else. So a lot of them went to Cuba and then went from Cuba to the United States. That was one way of doing it. But Argentina, anyway, Argentina, places like that. You know, a country that didn't take any Jews. America. New Jersey. Uh, yeah, our country. Our country. The there, there, there were uh, uh, Roosevelt. Uh, so you should feel you should feel sympathy for immigrants of any stripe I because do. of that but, because you know, of that uh, there were there were uh, I don't know if it was boats or barges were, uh, off the coast of New Jersey and they and it was filled with hundreds of Jews and and they wouldn't let them into the United States that's right no that's right they mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if they went back to Europe but they had to go somewhere else yeah and a lot of countries just wouldn't take them what you want a bunch of dirty old Jews come on you know maybe yeah. you know. I mean, it, it was, it was, it, it was, so I've always had an affection for immigrants and people who come here seeking a better life for whatever reason. And these people too. who are coming up from uh, South America are coming here because where they are is dangerous, it is no place they want their children to be raised, and they would like a better life for their children and themselves by being here. And this is depicted as some kind of horrible thing. And quite frankly, I think it is a very honorable thing to want to travel away from wherever you're currently living. Now, Wait a minute. To to the United States and to have to go through what they go through to get here. I think now, that we, is we very have a selfless. legal we have a legal immigration system. No, we don't. And, no, we don't. And, no, we and, don't. No, we well, don't. Not, not not now under Biden, but uh, what we, do you mean? We, we didn't have, have one under Trump. It was worse under Trump. You know, you know, no, it wasn't. Do you know? What do you mean, no, that, it wasn't, Phil? It was. What happens to all of those people that have been trying to emigrate legally and these other guys just What's jumped the difference the line between in front legally of them? and showing up at the border and saying, I want asylum or I want to be here or I want to come to America well, and become a cis woman? And they're going through the normal, they don't get to come through either, so that's the reason why they go across the Rio Grande and drown. 
There was a million gotaways. A million gotaways. What's a gotaway? You know, two, I've never heard of that country. Two million people have have turned themselves in when they came over the border. Uh, and there are people that have been waiting years Where to get into this country. Where are you getting these country. statistics, Phil? I get them from the news. Where, what news? The real news. Which real news? Fox News. Oh, God. Well, I, hey, I never well, heard of the country gotaway. Where's that at, Phil? Yeah, it's in Fremont. Uh, Turn the left to forget about it. <laughs> hey, that's right. Turn the left to forget about it. Yeah, right. You went this way, that way, forget about it. Bill <laughs> no way. Alex, that's that's way. You know, fifty-six of the of the uh, people that were intercepted uh, mm -hmm. this year were known terrorists. You know, it really? only takes one. Where did you one. get that statistic? Also from Fox News. <laughs> that get it from and, 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 that get yeah, it from the where, where, uh, where did they get it from? Well they get it from Homeland Security. Oh do they? Yeah. Are you just, sure? Wait a minute. Are you sure did they quote Homeland Security on that one? Oh, I'm pretty sure, yeah. Well you're pretty sure. Now you see you're quoting oh, stuff. No, you see well, you're, you're using throwing, you're no, using no, you're throwing out statistics and then they're not being backed right. up by any You're using a talk show trick. To, to try and, the show's and, on and fire. defeat. I was up to three in the morning listening to you on the radio. I thought you were alive. I said, my God, I, I don't want to change subjects. I was laying in bed, yeah. and the guy said, next hour, radio legend Alex Ben, and I rolled over, I almost knocked the dogs off the bed. I said, oh, shit, I should call in. You want to make it? Yeah. Alex yeah. Bennett's alive? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't sleep. I told the Phil, I said, I, said, I, thought, I thought I was hearing things on the radio. Yeah, he calls me at five in the morning. I, said, I heard Alex live. I'm up on that like a vampire. I told him. <laughs> Did you really call him at five in the morning? That's I don't think it was five, Phil. I texted you, didn't I? It was eight o'clock in New York, Phil. I mean, no, yeah, I don't think I called Phil. I wouldn't call you five in the morning. Did I call you? Five? I'm up. Well, just you know, just remember that uh, this Tony that when it's two o'clock in the morning where you are. <laughs> yeah. It's 1956 in California. <laughs> <laughs> I might have texted him. I have to look at my phone. I don't think I called you, Phil. You call me. You, Maybe you I did. Maybe it was 10 o'clock my time. I was coming back from the post office. Maybe it was around maybe 7 your time. Excuse was me. Yeah. But because you know what was funny? I don't mean to change subjects. I'm laying in bed the other night and I'm listening to ABC. I go back and forth. So I put the radio on the Amazon Alexa thing. So they, I had that guy on. Actually, has a decent show. It's like conspiracy that that guy and he had on JFK guy. And then he goes and ra next hour I'm half asleep. Next hour, radio legend Alex Ben and I went. What am I sleeping? <laughs> I thought I heard like no way. Then I heard him say again. Oh shit! I got. I was ready to call you up. I thought I actually. I told Phil. I think he was on live. I said, doesn't Alex go to sleep? It's like three in the morning. He can't. I was trying to figure out what time. We pre recorded it at eleven thirty at night. Yeah. Oh, hey, you must have went on. I, I I couldn't see my clock, my clock of my TV, the middle of the long clock. So it had me about 2.30 my time. I don't know when they ran it. I uh, oh, it, I, I heard it the next morning. You know. Oh, it was good, Alex. I told Phil it was really good. Oh, you know what I'm going to tell you, Alex? Of course Somebody it was good. Called. It was with me. Yeah, you know what? Did Somebody called. I, forgot. I told this to Phil. Uh, he must have listened to you in New York. The guy called. He said, oh, it was great. You had Alex on. He says, ask Alex if you have him on again. Uh, somebody, when you had John Leonard on, or one of these other rock stars, somebody threw up in your, in the uh, studio. He was telling, and that guy Moran didn't know because he didn't know all your interviews. It was against. it was John Lennon who threw up. He says, "I know somebody threw up during one of his interviews. You got to ask him next time. You, you get him on if you get him on." Who's, yeah, who's in fact, in fact I, I I sent Moreno um, a copy mm -hmm. of that particular moment that that happened on the on the radio. Oh, okay, show. and he mentioned something else. This other call, he must have listened to you a lot. Because he said something happened at your 30th birthday. He he wasn't sure what it was. I think he might have had edgex. Because this guy was going into detail with it. It's actually well, a good call. My 30th birthday with, uh, he said, David Peel oh, and yeah, Lori side. And I had uh, somebody else on. The, oh, oh uh, Peter Max. And he, I, he I don't like, remember having Peter Max on, but I may well have had Peter Max on. Because this guy must have listened to the show that night. He was going into it, like, really good. I was like, holy shit. Yeah. Well, was Jeff, did you listen to Alex uh, uh, to in the early days in New York? No, no, because I had already left New York. Connecticut well, I used didn't to have that radio that. station. What was that? Uh, and, uh, MCA and PLG? MCA. 
And I was like a kid. I started listening. Oh to wow! It. Yeah, me too. Yeah. <laughs> but I think we oh, all who was the uh, who was the guy who was uh, the big shot at at night that would come on? Barry Gray. Like, yeah, Barry. Yeah. yeah, Barry Gray. Yeah. yeah. And uh, Bob Grant. Yeah, Bob, Bob Grant. Grant was he on mm -hmm. WMCA? Uh, there, there was uh, Dandy Dan Daniels. Yeah, well, there was Dan uh, Daniels. There was Frankie Crocker. Frank, I, I, I met Frankie Crocker in the hallway and at WMCA. You know what, you know what Dan Daniel? McKinney. You know what Daniel, Dan Daniel, Frankie Crocker, and I all had in common? Uh, and WMCA good guys. No, same birthday. Oh, oh really? really? Yeah, not the same year, but the same <clears throat> birthday. You you were the last WMCA good guy. That's correct. <laughs> yeah. And you want to laugh, Alex? I I could be wrong about this. My mother worked for A and S, Abraham Strauss, mm -hmm. on Queens Boulevard. Mm -hmm. Was that your boss that he bought a radio station? Was that the same guy? No, that's not, that is, I don't think that was the same Strauss. I so. think it is because that's Macy's. It's owned by Macy's and uh, well, Abraham and Strauss was owned by Macy's. My mom worked for A and S. It's a federated store. Yeah. No, no, no. They the federated it. came later. No, uh, what, I'm pretty sure it was uh, the, the Strausses were. Um, um, let me see here. Yeah, the Strausses were were Macy's. Basically. Yeah. Uh, if you ever saw the like the movie Titanic or any of the Titanic mm -hmm. dramas, yeah. you know the old couple where the husband says to the wife, "Get on the boat," and she says, "No, I'm staying and going down on it with you." The old couple. Well, that was mm -hmm. the Strausses. Oh, okay. Yeah, and they mm. they died uh, on the Titanic. Mm. Uh, wow. But apparently they lived long enough to have progeny so that I had to have R. Peter Strauss as a boss. So you mentioned that guy as you go through And what happened to R. Peter Strauss? That's the big question. Yeah. His, yes, his daughter got it in, uh, in the Oval Office. Alan? Who, what is Somebody mm -hmm. that had tickets to get on the Titanic mm -hmm. changed his mind at the last minute. And he began. He came back here to run his family in Hershey, Pennsylvania. Milton Hershey yeah. Yeah. Did, yeah. had tickets yeah, and didn't I, make I, it to the but, ship. But we were dealing with another question here. And yeah. What, what was her name? Uh, well, Zel he, uh, not Zelensky. He, he, uh, he married Monica Lewinsky's mother. Monica Lewinsky. That's it. Really? Yeah. yeah. Really. Well, that's a good trivia question. Bill yeah. Clinton did. I don't know. No. Uh, okay. Or Peter Strauss. Oh. So. So I. So well, I, Other question. Yeah. The first time I ever heard of a guy called Alex Bennett yeah. was in Florida. No. Your really? favorite place. Oh, God. <laughs> we ate Florida. Oh, God. Oh, what were you there, like three weeks? No, it was uh, more like three months, but it felt, <laughs> it felt like three years. Okay. <laughs> so there's a story going around that the police stopped you in florida because some lady complained about you or something yeah is that told, on golden I told, isle i told that story before yeah. what oh, okay Maybe golden that's right. isle what yeah uh, just above miami uh above the beach right above miami beach golden isle was they were the cops were always stopping people and know, because you'd have to pay the ticket while you were still in the car no there well, they, I, was, they, I wasn't stopped for anything else but to be harassed uh, yeah, because some woman called the police and said, "This guy Alex Bennett on the WIOD has been saying bad things about the police department." And of course, I hadn't been because I didn't even know have any kind of relationship to the police department. Yeah, yeah. after that encounter, you did. Well, after that, I did absolutely. I mean, but it's scary. That's you really mean scary. you don't have First Amendment rights in Florida? Forget it. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Not with DeSantis. But you see, that's, that's what I don't get. I just don't get, you know, I, I don't know. I, I guess I grew up believing there was a Constitution and there was a Bill of Rights and there were constitutional rights. And as I've gone through the years, I find that none of them are true. They're all a myth, yep. you know, that get fed to us as children so we believe them. It's propaganda, but none of it was true, you know. You know, you know, every everybody anybody can grow up to be president unless you're black or a woman or Jewish or Obama. you know. I mean, but we we got fed all these lies and the, this propaganda in school about what this country was, only to grow up and find out that that country didn't exist. Oh, 
I, I don't know. I think it does. Uh, I think that that's because you're not people, paying attention. That's there are people not trying. Attention. There are people trying to turn it into a socialist nation, and they have an agenda, and they're called Democrats. You're so and, wrong, Phil. I mo most of the Democrats yeah. are 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 to the left or liberal. Everybody but, have a drink. Yeah, but they're not. <laughs> they, they they don't want this country to be socialist. Most most of my friends who are are liberals don't want socialism in this well, country. There's I, a, do. There's, there's I do. I do. You know. There's two kinds of liberals. There's lefties and there's liberals. Uh, the 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 liberals actually don't want to tear down the country, but uh, they but the they lefties, they work more the, off the, of emotion. The lefties but do. lefties mm. lefties they want communism. They, oh, they I, want. I, I want communism then. Yes. Really. Oh. Well, haven't you said that in the past? No, no. I think communism is is about as ridiculous an ideology you, you, as any. You other. feel the government should supply everything that the government I is responsible think, for I everything. Think, I think that the government it should be in service of the people. Yes. Well, I I think there should be limited government. Well, why then? Why have a government at all? If you if you want a limited government, there don't are certain, have a government at all. Benjamin no. Franklin said there are certain things government needs to provide. Uh, the police, the fire, libraries, schools. Where did you hear that on Fox? No, it was uh, I read Benjamin Franklin's autobiography. Written by who? It was. It's an autobiography. Oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's written by Benjamin Franklin. Uh, I had the. I gave it away to my daughter, but I had the Harvard Five Foot Shelf. It's fifty-one volumes of classic literature, and that was one of the volumes. Anyway, you know. I mean, I just think that uh, if you don't have an if you don't have a country that takes care of its people, why do you have a government at all? You know, you, I mean, you have to have people to take take care of people. You don't need the government to to be a nanny. You it, know, and not, that's what, nobody's being a you, nanny. We're just you, helping you people out. We're giving them a leg up. Or making, not, uh, for yeah. instance, they're going to forgive ten thousand dollars in uh, school well, uh, let's not loan. start that right now at the end of the show mm -hmm. all right well you know uh, when is I think they're trying to buy back. the votes huh? why shouldn't they give it uh, why shouldn't they give it because all those people who got those degrees hopefully went on to be more productive citizens than they would be if they didn't have those degrees. yeah they could have gotten a job and paid for their obligation you know uh, and, and or maybe the government should pay for it because the government and this country get the advantage of that person being educated. Yeah, well, they took basket weaving, and that's why they can't get a job and they can't pay their obligations off. Basket uh, weaving. Uh, yeah, basket weaving, uh, sociology. Uh, you know, any 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 kind well, of you, you, you know, English it. literature, I the seventeenth century. I wish life were as simple as you make it out to be. Well, it's very yeah. simple. You yeah, get up in the morning and yeah. and you yeah. create something. Yes, Alan, you're you're the final but word here. Josh, Josh, when is is he only going to do the show on Friday night? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. All so right. there's no show after this one, folks. So I don't know. I guess y'all have to just masturbate or something. I don't know. Okay. Do that anyway. <laughs> in, in, Some people in, can. Yeah, if you're going to masturbate, masturbate thinking about me, okay? Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, oh well, well, better than thinking about Phil. Yeah, uh, huh. what a legend. I was coming. He had it set up. Phil, thank you so much. Uh, Jeff, you're very thank well. you. Thank you, Alan. Thank you, Charlie. And uh, thank you, uh, um, um, uh, Tony. Always uh, good to see you here as well. Uh, everybody, why don't you give a big wave goodbye and I'll give a wave, big, big wave goodbye <laughs> at you. I'm going to see if you're on the radio later. Yeah, I'll okay, you. yeah, I'll do another show this morning. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Okay, Bye. there they go. That's our uh, citizen panel for tonight. And uh, we're going to be uh, playing an old, I guess, a, I, we'll, we'll, play, uh, we'll play the show that we did uh, the other night uh, with Josh. Uh, so that you can hear it if you didn't hear it. was very good. Josh did a terrific job. Anyway, that's it for now. We'll see you again tomorrow night, right? right? About 10.30. Same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye.